for finish we create okay read and update so the remaining one is the delete function okay to do that we go to our home page and so okay now we go to the home page so this button is in charge for deleting the data okay so uh, we have to modify our home component so let's go to our angular and go to home component html okay and then we have to modify our um, delete button okay that's with the trash or bin uh, icon okay so inside the button tag we can insert something so we can insert this one okay a click event so that's something calls for and this is equal to open open and close double code and we're gonna call this delete the profile function and then our parameter or input will be profile that I view okay and then in the home component that yes and then in our home component that yes we're gonna insert the function delete delete profile function with the parameter input ID right and then we're gonna define a variable response okay just like in a jQuery or JavaScript we're gonna use the confirm function okay for delete okay then just put in are you sure you want to delete this profile okay because usually during delete uh, we need to confirm with the user if he or she really needs to delete the entry okay so if your response is equal to true you put uh, a logic here okay and if it's a cancel button okay it's in the L so we just do the plan so let's just te test first if it can show a confirmation box so okay so let's try to click this one button it should show our confirmation box okay are you sure want to delete this profile okay okay it won't delete it because we need to put something inside okay the if condition we need to put something in the if condition in the if response is equal to true if the if the user says uh, OK or click the OK button we need to put a logic here what would happen is it, it will call the profile service okay and then uh, call the function delete profile with the parameter ID this one alright and then again subscribe means the response is coming from the Laravel server okay this is the output from the Laravel server then just for checking we're gonna console log the response if there will be an error then the error will show up in the console log in our browser browser console okay and then after that we're gonna call this get all profiles okay so that the uh, uh, home page is being uh, updated all right so after deleting the entry we're going to show again uh, the updated uh, content of the table that they get all profiles and then this message uh, service that show message okay is just showing uh, default uh, or just showing uh, message box about 
our home page that same the profile as we made here. All right, so we just need to create this delete profile function inside our profile service. So go to profile service.ts and just insert our delete profile function. Okay, it is a get request okay? with the parameter this server and then a URI delete underscore profile slash the ID that uh, we're gonna delete. All right. And we just we just need to modify as well our home component that we share now because um, we need to insert the message box here above. So let's see. Let's just copy. This we just need to copy the message box. This one. And put in our home component that we channel above. And then we're gonna change the ID to message because in our home component that we has it's ID message okay so we're so we're done with our front end front end so we're done with our front end now we need to modify or add something in our laravel back end okay let's go to laravel okay. and we'll go to our route okay oops We go to our route so web.php. Okay. Right, and then just since we just inserted the get request okay and our URI is delete underscore profile slash ID okay uh, just like uh, sorry in uh, just like in profile services that is in our angular that's okay delete underscore profile ID okay Okay, and then we're gonna add the function delete profile in our profile controller. So let's go to our profile controller. Okay. And, we, and in our profile controller, we have to another function which is the delete profile okay. with the parameter id coming from our angular front end okay profile is a model in our uh, laravel as well column coming there condition id is our id field is equal to the id that we passed okay and then let's call the delete uh, function laravel delete function and then as a response so that we would know if it's uh, successfully deleted we just make the response profile deleted and then return the response okay let's see if it's working fine let's go to our site on page Okay. 
So the Angular is automatically compiling the changes. Oh, that's it. Alright, so use our console line. Let's see if we're gonna delete Jane Dassel. Okay. Oh, there is a confirmation. Are you sure you want to delete this profile? Say, say okay. And it showed the message profile has been deleted and the response from the server profile deleted. So that uh, completes our profile project. Okay, we just uh, demonstrated to you the using of uh, the using of Angular as a front end and Laravel in a back end and the both communicated and uh, and they both communicated via API services and we've used uh, MySQL uh, server for our database okay guys uh, this is the end of our tutorial but uh, before that uh, just let me tell you about uh, what could be the further modifications you could do with the project um, like uh, first one will be instead of uh, a panel we could use a table uh, there's a uh, angular table that you could use or any other dependencies so instead of a panel we could use a table here and then um, and if you have a table you could add a search search field where in um, you could search uh, what uh, data you want to uh, check so when you type in the search box uh, it will filter out so you would be using an angular filter for that and then you could also since you have a, a uh, since and since you have a table we could use um, a pagination so that uh, it will only display like a certain uh, number of uh, fields in front like uh, per page like uh, you could uh, set like uh, five fields per page to be shown okay and then if it's more than five fields then there will be some uh, uh, button here that when you click you could go to the next page with another five fields so that's a, a, a pagination okay what else uh, you could uh, modify further uh, you could uh, in your ad okay you could make your front end validation more strict okay uh, like in a photo you should have a strong validation for that to check if it's the right if it's really an image file okay and not accepting any other files so it should only be image file and you could also add a validation aside from the angular front end you could also add a validation in your back end so you could add another validation in your back end so for example in your uh, laravel okay in your uh, profile controller let's say in your update profile and add profile you could uh, insert further validations uh, above okay just to check if the if they entered a blank or something value for a certain field okay although um, front end validation will be all right but it will be nicer to have uh, but validation for front end and back end okay so what else uh, we could uh, another thing to be added uh, for this project is uh, having an authentication so like a login box okay so you could add a authentication for this project but they need to like in order to add or edit or delete uh, a profile so yeah uh, authentication you, you could add an authentication 
function so that uh, you could uh, restrict as well like going directly by, by via putting the link here or hyperlink here so you could have a restriction for that simply by having an authentication so uh, that's it for now um, hope you like my uh, video tutorial and if you like my video tutorial and if you saw, and if you have some um, comments suggestions you could uh, write below or you could uh, message me in my youtube channel and i'll try my best to answer your inquiries all right and just if you like my tutorial just give a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel thanks for watching bye